we thank the lord for his precious word the word god has been speaking to us all through these months we thank god for uh, specifically speaking to us about the importance of faith for our spiritual ascendancy in christ we heard that faith brings us into oneness uh, with his purpose faith brings us into uh, oneness with god's method god brings us in oneness with god's means faith brings us into oneness with god's time God, faith brings us into uh, the principle of god's working to so the basis of his working which is uh, the power of his resurrection we heard very clearly the burden of the Lord conveyed to us last week that faith is something that we need in our lives from the beginning till the end faith is like a key to everything in our relationship with the Lord it's all just a matter of faith from the beginning till the end in our lives. We were also exhorted by the Lord that we need to settle this issue in our lives now. Yes, and we thank God for many other words by which God exhorted us and spoke to us last week. He that cometh to God must believe that he is God. And he is the rewarder, we heard that very clearly. Yes. He is the rewarder, and we heard many words of exhortation uh, uh, with regard to that, that thought. You know, we also heard last week about our living relationship with the Lord and how important that we need to realize in our daily life that He is the living God. We were exhorted from the life of Caleb. You know, our relationship is with the living God. Our knowledge of Him ought to be living, we heard. And where our knowledge of the Lord is living, where life is, there is always ascendancy or growth. You know, there is always a formation of life. It's not a matter of information. It is not a matter of some personal knowledge which is mere head knowledge in our lives. It's altogether different from book knowledge that we can have. But we heard very clearly, it's a living knowledge. You know, we have to do with a living God in our lives we heard. You know, I'm, I, during the last week, I was greatly burdened in my heart about this thought. You know, several things the Lord was bringing into my heart and to my, uh, to ministering to my own self. You know, and I'm not here to be a YouTube preacher. Though it may be posted there. Others may be benefited by that. But I know that God has placed me in this local body here. 
And God speaks to me about God's people. It's not that I go into researching about everyone else. But even as I mentioned two weeks back, the Holy Spirit speaks and shows things. And the things are brought to you concerning God's own people. Now I cannot ignore that. When God has given me a time to share God's word with us. Now this is true when we read Paul's letters. When Paul wrote his letter to the Philippines, he had to write about two sisters who had difficulties in the local church. How sad it is, isn't it? If we look at it from our side, those letters were not only read in Philippi, but it was also read in other places. How do, how do you think that, how do you like it that I write two of the sisters' names here and send this letter all out to it read in South India? <laughs> you would never like the Apostle Paul at all. But that's what happened. And I don't know if those sisters left the church and men. But this is what we read in the scripture. So Paul was, you know, we know that the letter to the Philippines are read through the centuries and here we are opening that letter again and again in our own lives. Amen. But the Holy Spirit did not remove those two sisters' names there. So we see that even when the Apostle Paul stood before or wrote with a burden to specifically the church in Philippi, you know, and he, he knew or perhaps the Holy Spirit knew that this letter will be read through the centuries till the end of the earth. <laughs> so, and in those letters, the, you know, particular situation in the local church was also included. And so please listen carefully why am I saying this? I want to say that all is not well with us. I want to say this. You know, and several of us are hearing God's word. Listen carefully. This message may be heard both in in this country and abroad. But I would like to categorically say that all is not well with us. You know, we heard that we have to do with the living God. But some of us are still in a great bondage. Though we know the truth, we hear the truth, somehow it's not becoming a living word within us. Now this is a matter of concern. We talk about the living God, but this knowledge is not a living knowledge in us. When it comes to our personal life, we are just managing our life. It's much of it is just outward. You know, many other things are living, and the things concerning God is almost dead. Now, this is something we need to confront. Don't try to bypass this, that which the Holy Spirit is ministering to you and to me. Please, therefore, I would like to give an example. You know, when you look at the trees, you know, some of the trees look so strong. You know, the trunk is very, very, you know, big. You know, but when a storm comes, you know, we see that some of them just 
followed or they are uprooted. Now the reason is, you know, some of them, when you look at, didn't have enough root. And some of them have been already hollow. There was no strength inside. The reason was again, it was not able to draw life. There was no supply inside. You know, and I felt the Lord saying this to me. There are several amongst us like that tree. Outwardly, looking good, okay. But how long? How long is the question? You know, when some storm comes, some trees are able to stand. But when the next storm comes, those very strong trees are falling apart. And I've seen that in this in this body of people. You know, those who stood gone. You know, so I just want to share this with us with a great burden. Now, God knows you and not I do not know you. And I know something about you. God may lay some burden upon my heart. The Lord may say something to my spirit. And all this is for your and our edification. Not as a matter of finding fault with one another. You know, so there's a great need for us to be, you know, uh, understanding and as we heard, we have to do with the living God. You know, our, we have to do with the living God. We have to live with this. We are accountable finally to the living God we Yes. So, let's be conscious of that. You know, as we heard very clearly, I want to say this again to us. You know, we are to grow in the light of his present word in our lives. Remember, we grow together with God's people. You know, we together, you know, obey God's word. We together come alive to what God is presently speaking. You know, it's not that we are already perfect, but we are moving on to that realm of maturity. You know, so this is something that we all need to experience. So when we know that we are weak in some areas, you know, God's word comes to us to help us. But we need to be sensitive and to alive to God's word. That word has to be alive within me. The knowledge that God is ministry must be life within me. Remember, many a time, I know one thing. We talk about fellowship. Fellowship is not... If I use that word, it may sound very radical, very bad, bad. Bad. So I'm, I'm worried about using that word. Fellowship is talking and sharing things that will edify one another. Fellowship is not complaining. Use the decent word. You can use another word which I don't want to use. You know, fellowship is not complaining. It's not complaining about anybody else. It's not complaining about the church. It's not complaining about what you feel bad. Fellowship is edification. Amen. Fellowship is not gathering information. For some people, fellowship means gather information. 
This is not fellowship. He's got another word again. I am not using that word. And you know now, so many times I've repeated, now you know what that word is. You know, as somebody said, if you have a problem in the family, you need to sit together. Rather than go, go and shout the neighbors. Yes or no? What do you think? Going and shouting at the neighbors will solve your family problem. Tell me. No. That's or call for a press report. Press conference. That's not going to save your family problem. We have difficulties in the family of God. We have situations in the house of God. We all are struggling to grow. What you should do? You should come to those who can help you. Yes or no? That's what we have to do. We have to sit down. We have to share. You ask for clarity. You ask for understanding. This is how we grow. Amen? This is true fellowship. So I want to encourage God's people. Remember, God is a living God. And our relationship with him ought to be alive and living. As I mentioned the other day, many a time, many other things are alive. My phone is alive all the time. You know that? And if you look at our phone time is much more than our time with the Lord. I was caught by somebody. Said your screen time is so many hours. I didn't realize. That. It's not that I looked at it, but I did not see it. But what I'm trying to say is, your phone time is much more than your quiet, quiet time. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I cannot see whether you are gnashing your teeth or smiling. There's a burden in my heart and so I'm sharing this. You know, so let God be alive. Sometime our profession is alive than God. Our our job is alive. Our children are more alive. Our needs are more alive. You know, so we are hearing God's word. And this word has to be a living knowledge within us. You know, so may God help us. This is something Lord laid upon my heart. You know, my brothers and sisters, let's be alive to the Lord and to His word He is sending to us in these days. You know, as we heard, we have to do with a living God. You know, I just want to move on today further with these few specific expressions to the local church. And I'm sure that this applies to all God's people everywhere if they are open to the Holy Spirit. Now, I want to turn today again in the light of this present uh, uh, meditation to the book of Hebrews chapter 4. Yes, and we need to go very fast. I am sure my brother is getting ready for that. Uh, the book of Hebrews chapter 4. You know, and there are several verses I may have to read, but let me say this first of all. You know, we need to get, as we heard last week, the key is faith. In our spiritual life. Yes. From beginning till the end, we need this real faith and trust in God. You know, when we get inside or into the matter of faith, you know, then we will definitely begin to appreciate the book of Hebrews. You know, when we look at the book of Hebrews, you know, one thing very... Uh, 
you know one thing uh, one thing we are able to see very clearly i going to carry gumba ma mayak seng na ubo is that the book of hebrews from start to finish hebrew gi lariga se aho bodai na roi ba pawo speaks about faith haza bagi mari da ngang bani haza bagi maram da ngang libani you know we see this helpful clue and key to faith in hebrews chapter 4 i go na ibriya ki mari asida masida thaza bada ori ba sajai amadi masigi likhun na do i go na ibriya ki mari asida da uba phanga you may think that it is not really a matter of faith that Hebrews chapter 4 is talking about masidi tha you may think like that ar adunate hebrew mari sina ngangli ba sai na khoi na phao ba yai khan ba yai but when you truly examine chapter 4 chapter 4 pandu mari ase na khoi na phajana wa khal taura ba di yes that it is touching masidi masina sok li bani very specifically the matter of faith tha je ba gi oi ba maru oi ba do masina sok li bani tha je ba gi darkar ado sok pa Let us read this a few verses here. Masida le riba pada khara ikoi pamina. First of all I would like to read verse. Ahan ba makada tarani thoi ese pajaningi. Look at this expression here. Phongdok liba se ikoi. For the word of God is quick. Maram di isor gi wa asi hingi amasung thabak to ngami. And sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow. and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart aduga maya ani panba thangsang dagi hena thawi masina thinjinduna hingbaga thawai ga tangsam ga sading thaw ga khaidok i aduga pukning bo amas amasung you know you will notice here in this words now You know this verse is very familiar to us. Amen. We have heard many many times you know you know uh, expressions brought out from this word masigi wahai singa si dagi phongdok lagli bo wahai singa referring to this verse masigi pada singa si dai koi namari but i think today god has got something different to speak to us from this verse isor na ai koi da kari gomba khara top top this word begins with an expression for the word of god is quick isor maram di isor gi wahai di yamna thui hai so that word for relates to what is said before hai badi maram di hai na hari basina mamang da hai ki you will notice that statement begins with the word for han mamakta da ai koi namasi da gi si gi wahai maram and it links you with one thing masina maram kari gomba ma da mari you know when you read the previous verses koi na pada hau ki ba mamang it links with the children of israel you know wandering in the wilderness israel masasi la lamha how they fail to enter into their rest makoi gi potha bagi mafam adu changma ngam da duna laikhi ba adu da mari sami amen all right now i'm not reading all those verses for want of time hari ba pada singa do matam wat ba but when it says for the word of god masida hari isor gi wa hai that word for links with israel in the wilderness wherein they fail to enter into their rest hari ba mara masina hari ba wai sena samli ba sidi israel ma chas in wilderness da lamang lam jaud chat to namako gi potha ba asak pi ba gi lamaru sangma ngam tha ngam khida ba do adu ga mari sami bani Yes now for unto us was the gospel preached as was last unto them verse to says but the word preached did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it maram de ma koida afaba wa pau sangok ki bagumna ai koina chapter 4 verse 2 sangok pire adobu ma koina ta ki ba wa hai ado ma koida kana ba porakhi de maram di mado tari ba ma koina thaja ba ga amen doina na So the gospel was preached to them. That not only their deliverance but deliverance is to possess a land before that God has set before them. You know that they're to 
inherit the land that gospel preached them did not benefit them profit them not being mixed with faith did not profit not being united by faith as other translations put it you know because they did not mix it with faith because they did not united by faith they heard it but there was no faith that word was not alive it was not a living word in their hearts they did not unite it with faith and so what happens you know it says here again um, Uh, verse 3 for which we have believed to enter into the rest and as I have sworn in my wrath if they shall enter in into my rest although the works were finished from the foundation of the world yes. Yes. So, you know, it says, I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Yes. And it says, they could not enter in because of unbelief. Verse 6, towards the end to save time, and they to whom it was first preached ended not because of unbelief. Yes. Now, after having said all these things, verses 9 to 11, there remained therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works as God did from his. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest by any, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief for amen all right so here he says about entering into rest more about rest and the failure of israel to enter into rest yes. then he says for the word of god divides between the soul and the spirit no, when you read other translations, you know, not only our God is a living God, not only our God, uh, you know, we have to do with a living God, you know, but the word, you know, the scripture also says, His word is also living word. Amen. He is not only a living God, not only we need to have a living knowledge of this God, but His Word is also a living Word. I would like to read from Hebrews, chapter 4 from another translation. I would like to read from the American Standard Version. American Standard Version. One second. Uh, American Standard Version, it says like this, For the word of God is living and active. The King James says quick, but it also means living. For the word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged Now here we get a key. For the word of God divides between soul and the spirit. The word of God which is living. Remember, when God's word is living in us, it has a tremendous power to sift and separate between 
soul and the spirit. Hingbaga Hawaii ga kai dok pagi pangal ado laybani ay ko gi kunsida isog gi wai na hingla ba matamda hingbaga Hawaii ga kai dok na bangambani. So there is a link here, brethren. Brothers and sisters, this is the key to faith. In other words, here is a key to faith. What is it? It is the conquest or the triumph or subjugation of the soul. Uh, yes. How? How? By, By the, the word, word of God. God. And you know this explains the whole journey of Israel in the wilderness and their failure. Listen very carefully. Listen to God's voice. Beyond words of men. This explains the whole uh, life of Israel in the wilderness and their failure and the subsequent forfeiting of God's purpose in their lives. What was that? No faith. Why no faith? Because they didn't receive God's word and mix it with faith. They didn't consider God's word to be a living and active faith that can deliver their soul. Yes. They could not somehow accept that word and allow that word to be living to cut asunder and separate them from the realm of the soul. Now, we know what the soul is. I'm not going to explain that to us. But we need to know that that we have the soul and the spirit within us. Yes. Now, when we think about the soul, as we have heard even before, the soul is, uh, is a self-conscious life of ours. The soul in us is nothing else but the self-conscious life in us. You know, the soul is the soul conscious life of ours. That's a soul. Yes. By our soul, we are conscious of ourselves. We are conscious of ourselves. We are conscious of other people. We are conscious about the world around us. You know, this is the soul life. Conscious of ourselves, conscious of others, and conscious of the world thing and its things around us. Whereas, the spirit is, the spirit within us is God conscious. From the time that the spirit was raised up to life in us, when we were born again, we were born of God, we were who were dead in our sins and trespasses are now quickened back to life again. This, this spirit in us is God conscious. Uh, listen carefully, the God conscious life 
is the effect of the spirit working in us so by our spirit you know active in us with the help of the holy spirit we are conscious of god who is spirit and all in the realm of the Spirit of God. Yes. So by our Spirit, we are conscious of God, who is Spirit, and all that realm of the Spirit of God. Now what the Spirit is saying here is that the self-conscious yeah, and the God-conscious life, these two things are existing in us. Yes. These two things are existing in us. The self-conscious life and the God-conscious life. Now, if these two things are not defined rightly, if it is not defined rightly, if it is not done, if it is not separated, if it is not divided, and it, we do not recognize its difference, right? if you are not able to recognize its difference, and allowed it to overlap, it will bring about confusion in our spiritual life. Are you understanding? Listen carefully. You know, when it is, both these lives are within us. Self-conscious and God-conscious. You know, these two things, if they are not well defined, not set apart, not divided rightly, do not recognize its difference. But if we allow it to just be overlaid, it will bring about a state of confusion in our own lives. Now the Hebrew writer says, because of this, they did not have faith. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. For the word of God is a living word, sharper, not a, a, it's able to get in, separate between the soul and the spirit. And because they did not allow this word to do that work, they did not, they did not end the rain. So the Hebrew writer says they fail because of unbelief. Because of unbelief. Now what does that amount to? Let us see it further. The self-conscious life predominated or prevails in our lives it's overweight in our lives and the God conscious life if it does not predominate if the God conscious life is not able to predominate then there is a great danger. If the self-conscious life predominates, and the self-conscious life is not predominating, Yes. 
but rather it is made you know it is subjected and become subservient to the soul conscious life aduga isorbu khangba asi thawai di isabu khangba gi makha pol halag le taraga di It's a great danger for us in our own lives today. Now this is what happened to Israel. Yes. This is what happened. In other words, for them, everything was a matter of self. Yes. Everything was a matter of how self was affected. by the situation hari ba thoi ba phibam awa anang sing adu na masagi oi ba da so hal ka so hal so hal li ba gi oi ba do adu adu ka ngak to oi ki ba ni madu bu khang ba do ngak to oi ki ba ni everything was a matter of self ai ba di khuding mak sing a se masagi oi ba and every time they were conscious of how the self was affected by the situation hai ba di awa matam puna mak ta oi ri ba phibam sing awa anang sing adu na masagi how the self was affected by the prospect khat ta khang ki ोयो <laughs> 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 they were you know they, they sang songs unto the lord na prabhu de isai kya sakhi they worship the lord you know we see this from time to time in the midst of the people of god they had zeal for the lord it looked like they had a real interest in the lord and they were going on and they were full of an apparent real devotion unto the lord yes. oh yes they were going on yes. it looked like they were keen about moving on to the promised land yes and remember that now this enthusiasm this desire this zeal you know every interest they had it was all when the situations were pleasing to their soul understand this when god is answering your prayer hai bidi ishon na koi prarthna ko meet for me drink for drink hai disa ge sadum victory from the enemy sing aduga my yagna when everything is in favor oh wonderful church no brother like joy thomas lovely brother his father to me aduga mapa brother joy thomas mate ai bidi pa ma le hai na sumai ishon na pa khumbi ba kuding mag yai brother joy thomas mate ai bidi pa ma le hai na sumai ishon na pa khumbi ba kuding mag yai brother jesus i have never seen a church like jesus as i the jesus kumba church amok to uzarak tri yam na phai si di hai na hai ri hai hai ki bani What a beautiful body of believers. Yeah, the Pajakra Bhavan. Abhi zindagi mein dekha bhi nahi. I give punsi da mukte uratri. Asi gumbad singlo kaise kaya da pakra. When everything is in favor. Khuding mak singa se thaujan bira ko matam da. Khuding mak. Khuding mak na. Everything is good. Khuding mak phara yai. This was what happened with Israel. Masi ni Israel da thoki bado. Khuding mak phava matam da makoi ni ishor. When things were in their favor, they had a zeal. They had the interest. They had yes, glorious churches. God, I am for brother Joy. हरा की बनी आई ब्रदर जोई की मीनी है मैं सिंह मीनी है खुदी मक से मैं खुदी मक चाह फंग
Please understand me. Masih bubap tabiu, ayu bubap tabiu. Please understand me, brothers and sisters. Jadi nau sing ayu nahari bersih karino. Israel was very keen and interested when things were in their favor. Makoi bu kuding magna, kuding magta thousand birapu matam, dijono thousand birapu matam, dadi makoi yam kang. When the situation was pleasing to them. Yam kang bayam harau rambani. Ori bapi bapa mau. When the prospect was presented to that. That you know that you can move on in and inherit this tremendous land flowing with milk and honey. Have this hour of lamdam asida kohi ka sangam na siyan ba asida zana koi na sanction mangam gani hai na wahi lakho matamda adumai na makoi lahi bhi matamda di. They were filled with joy and gladness. Makoi de am na harau ki bani har harau matamda. They were filled with the sense of possibility. To get on to that land. Hari bala madu the sanction bang amga ni hai bagi oitho ka ni hai bagi wakal le rambani. Yes. Remember. Nising bhi. It was for their own gratification. Masidi makoi masa na pelan na na bagi da makta. Masa bu pelan jana na na bagi da makta. Makoi ki karam bu pelan na na bagi da makta. Oh, this is fine. Oh, masi nuai re hai na. This is so good, brother. Si amna phare, brother. This is a wonderful truth. Masi the achum angak pa achum bani. Tell us more about this truth. Ay koi da masi ki achum masi ki maram the hai. Tell me, tell us more about this wonderful land that flows with milk and honey. Lam dam koi ke sangom mana chali. I love to hear about Zion more and more, brother Joy. Ay koi da maram the hai na na khangje nengi brother Joy hai na hai ki bani. I would like to hear more and more about Zion, brother Joy. Brother Joy, ay Zion ki maram da hai na hai na taaja nengli. Something more about Zion. Zion, ye maram the hen hai viu. Yeah, we would like to hear. I koi loi na smile taningi. Somebody smiling here. Me kana gu makara na mamon no glitar. Listen carefully. Muna ta viu. Tell us more. I koi de kari gu makara hen. More about this wonderful land. Masigi angak palam da masigi maram. More about this wonderful calling in Christ Jesus. Christa da leiba, Prabhu Jesus Christa da leiba angak acho angak pa acho makara masigi maram da. I koi bu kauchin viu. Keep telling us, brother. Hai du na leiviu makata na hai viu, brother. All this glorious. And wonderful things in Christ. Christa the leiva matik mangal angak pana thalla basing asi ki marida hai viu. And we are for it, brother. Adu ko ai koi madu ki damak ta leira bani, brother. I'm glad God brought me to this body of believers. Ai na dharau jai masi ki thaza bami hoy singlo kanglo basi da ishwan ai ko pushan birakpa ki damak thagat chare. We are for it. So ko thagat chare yamnu ai ai koi masi ki damak ta leira bani. Hai na hai. It was all the soul. Aduga masiloi na. It was all the soul man. Ado, ado ki wa, ado ki phongdo ko do erami. Ado Israel ki macha singdo so do mai noi ki bani ado ki bani. Ado ka khudi mag ma koi bhi chandi ko matamda. Khudi mag yai phana phaja na thoda matamda. Ma koi machi ki wa sakti bagi la machi ki maramda he na khangling ki. Remember, it was all the soul and nothing to do with the spiritual man. Only ba mi ki hoy bato ngak ta ni machi singa chena thawai ki hoy ba mi tu day tan kari ma tau ba yar hoy. Adisagi hoy ba khang ba aduna self interest Isagi hoy ba apam ba aduna self gratification Isagi hoy ba karam ba he pelhan jana na and when there arose a situation adugam sidai da awana gi fiba ma do lagla ba kan da either present magzi po ero or in relation to the prospect in relation to the purpose of god ora kada ba iswa gi panda madu gi mari da bo ero Having to face up a separated life. Hi, buddy. Adu gumba. He khai do apu to khai bagi. Having to face up a rejection by family or others. Hi, buddy. Imu manung na amadi ato pasing na intho piva phangla ba matam do dey dey. Or there arises a difficult situation. Adu ga aru ba piva sing awa nang sing. There arises a situation of self-sacrifice. Hi, buddy. Isa na kathok pagi oi ba piva madu la. There arises a situation where God demands the self to let go. Adu ga isu or na isagi oi ba to thado na na bu ki tamak ta hai rakpo matam dadi. Asi ko ma piva mla ko matam dadi. There arises a situation that challenges something that is very, very close to your heart that you want to do. Na tham hoy dana ha na pam zaba tauning ba adu gim adu bu sing na ba adu gim ayok ta hai bidi. That you are so interested in your heart. Na yam na napukning na tham hoy na napukning yam na chang liba poor adu adu thado na na bagi da mag lakpa kan di. Then unbelief rises. Thaja da bagi oy bu sing adu hauji ki madu haugalak pa hauray wahang. Then unbelief rises. Thaja da bagi oy bu sing adu haugalak le thorak le. Then there is no faith. Adu bagi di thaja ba le rakte. To let go. Faith to let go 
There is no faith to sacrifice that interest which is coming from the soul. Yes. Their zeal went away. Unbelief began to multiply. Brothers and sisters, you know, it is here that Israel failed. They were not concerned about their call. The purpose of God. No. And I want to tell you. The history of Israel. Is being repeated in the midst of God's people. Do you agree that? Can you be honest? And agree to God's word? That's why this is recorded and given to us. Yes. They forgot their call. They began to make their call something very light. Not very serious. They let go that call. That which they appreciated. You know, so, so we see that all that appreciation, most of those things were more of the realm of the soul than the realm of the spirit. Yes. Yes. Now they let go that which they appreciated. That at one time they said, God spoke to me. You know, God led me. Now, now they let go those things. Yes. Now these things are not for them. Now the body of Christ is something that they do not really appreciate. They begin to question the body of Christ. They begin to question the ministry. They begin to question the leaders. They begin to question the saints. They begin to question the church. And the purpose of God. And many other things. Let's hear God today. My brothers and sisters, for the word of God is quick and powerful. The word of God that we are hearing is living. Amen. Don't treat it as dead. If you treat it as dead, it will be. But if you receive it as living, then it is going to be divine. What is the soul and what is the spirit? It, it, will, it will never overlap and bring confusion in your spiritual walk. You know why are some of us in great confusion? Why are we? It's because there is no defining work. You are not allowed the word to come in. The word is not a living knowledge anymore. It is mere doctrine. It's just a mental knowledge. But if it's a living knowledge, it will be a living word within us. It will divide. It will, divide. It will separate. It will segregate. You know, and because we don't allow this work, we are in a place of confusion. And in that place where we begin to neglect this call, we begin to question those very things that we sang about, prayed about, talked about and appreciated. Now, let me share another aspect of it. What for? What 
offer God is really sending this word. As we heard. You know, God wants this God conscious life of the Spirit to be predominant. Yes. In other words, the word of God was coming to them. For the word of God says, if you hear his voice, when? Today. God was sending his word. He says, if you hear his voice today, harden not your hearts. What does that mean? I love that word. Receive that word. Let it be living. Divide it. Separate that realm of the soul and the spirit. Let it bring, you know, receive it in faith. Faith will increase in you. Cause you to believe in God. That God can bring a separation between the soul and the spirit in your own life. In other words, why the word was coming? You know, God is first. It is God's need first. Their interests are secondary. You know, when the Lord began to highlight His purpose, you know, that means their interests were eclipsed. Their interests were you know, Surpassed. Yes. Their interests were overshadowed. This is what God wanted. This is the work of God. That their things may not be predominant. But God's will, God's purpose, and God Himself may be predominant in their lives and not their self life. Yes. Yes. And why God is doing this? Because God knows one thing. And listen very carefully. God knows one thing. If God is not predominant, the Spirit of God is not predominant in their life, they can never come into the land of inheritance. They can never. Yes. Amen. God knows that. If God is not having his first place in their lives and that, you know, God conscious life is not predominant and surpassing the life of their soul, they can never enter into the inheritance. God knows this and so God was sending the word to them to help them to inherit. Amen. Hallelujah. Why God is entreating with us? Why He is sending His word again and again to us? He is interested in you inheriting your land of promise which has promised you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. That you may be part of His glorious bride. That you may come into the end of your salvation. Yes. God knows this. And so God was doing this. Now we know that scripture which we all know very well. Matthew chapter 6, 33. What is that scripture? Tell me from your memory. Yeah. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. 
And all these things shall be added to you. One of the most misinterpreted words. Misunderstood word. Wrongly preached word. What it means is, just seek God and be saved, and the whole world is yours. That's what preachers preach. Just, just, just give your heart to God. And you will and then the whole world is yours. Amen. 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 Doesn't matter how many litigations are going on, it's all yours. That's, That's not what is. Listen carefully. By the Holy Spirit, seek ye first the king. We have heard this. Seek ye first the king. And his rule. That makes one thing very clear. God Amen. Amen. Some people think I will pray half an hour and I will give 10 minutes for the word of God and I will clear all the exams. Because I am seeking kingdom. I will get a good job. Because I am, I am seeking God first. That's not what this scripture says. That's not what it says. What it says is that keep God first in your life. Amen. That's what it says. God first. Amen. 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 That means letting everything of my personal interest go to the second place and God taking the first place. Amen? That's what it means. That's what it means. It's not little more prayer. Little more reading of the scripture, little more attending the meetings. It's more than that, brothers and sisters. It's putting God first, God's interest first, and letting my interest come down. Amen. Amen. That's what the scripture says. So let us not be going by the watered down gospel that is being preached by many. You know, and this has to get right into our heart. You know, this is the issue, this is the matter. And this was the issue with Israel in the wilderness. Israel the thoki ba adu gumba samasya adu amasi oiki bani problem. Oh may God help us. May God help all of us. You, me, every one of us. We need the help of God in this area. Yes. Oh, let it get right into our hearts this morning. You know, how often we get disappointed in our lives. We get disappointed in our lives. Yeah. We get so disappointed in our lives many times. What is this disappointment in reality? In other words, we get disappointed with God. Yes. It's with the Lord. And his things. I don't know if you have been there. You know, many a time God's people get disappointed. We did so much what the Lord want. We did so much what the Lord want. What he desires. What I feel. I have done it. You know, I have set aside my time. And I give for God. I help God's people. Yes. Oh, I have done it. Yes. Oh, I have done 
I gave my time. I gave my time. I did many things. I did many things. I na kaya marum tau kibani. I did not look into my own things. I sagi sabasinga ni yengen kida bani. Adu ga I na igi isin nau sing bu mateng tau kibani. And then, adu da gidi. Why God did not give me what I want? Isor na I na paamba se pipi rakti bana kari mo. Na koi baap ta bira brahma. Why is that? Madu kari gidi no madu kong libo. God did not give me what I want. Isor na I na paamba do pipi rakti bana kari gino hai na. We have a lot of mixed up things within us. I could give Nongda Yansan a bit of a camera. Yeh prabhu ke liye kar liya. Masi prabhu ki tamam kya tamam kya bani? Masi aayi na isro ki meeting ki tamam kya tamam kya bani? And this I have done. 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 And this I मी से ना करी की दमक भाव तात्रिक से ना करी की नो आई की समस्या भाव तात्रिक से करी की नो आई के रूप सिंह से भाव तात्रिक से करी की नो आई ना भाव उन ना मायोंग ना रिबसिंग से मको ना भाव तात्रिक से करी की नो अब आप नंगली रिबसिंग से भाव तात्रिक से करी की नो आई कोई समय नहीं आंसर नहीं ना कोई � When we are doing something, I koi na kari gum bakhara. We are helping. I koi na kari gum bakhara. We are giving our time. I koi gum bakhara. Or whatever we do, I koi na kari kari bata. Of course, in the name of the Lord, I'm not denying that. Koi prabhu ki mingda ni, tauri basinga do ai na madhu yaza da ba. Adu na tau yaza da balai the. Yes or no? Adu na kari gum bakhara. Madhu da self ki isagi hoy madhu yaushalle. Jo mera icha hai. Masi. That I like, I desire, I think to be God. Ai na ishwar ki ni na khand bado. आई ना तो बनी आधो का करी की तो मतलब इशार ना पीरक पीरक नहीं बनाई की कॉफ़ी में आई मोड़ आई ये पांव पर पीरक नहीं बनाई दो आई विल टेक योर पिक्चर्स एंड पोस्ट इट ना आई ना नो हाई बम मखाई सिंगर दो यंजन नहीं मखो की शोली माय पिक्चर वोंट बी देर आई ग्रुप तो था कच्चा नहीं नहीं आधो का ये मस्जिद नहीं है कोई आम मत अंदर लेके आएगा। You know there is such a mixture of the soul and the spirit when we are doing things for the Lord itself. यह बस यंसन ना बा ये वो बस है प्रभु की तबक तो बता सुया मैं यारी। Yes। Some का तबाई का यंसन ना रख ले बस है। It's not well defined in us। करीब में मत करीब में बखर दे आई कोई तो मैं ला ना मचा खाए ना आई कोई ना खंग तो अक्ते थम दे क्या ना ना थम दे खाए तो अक्ते So we do things. I koi na tha bok singa se tawe. In the name of the Lord. Prabhu ki mingda tawe. Unto the Lord. Prabhu da tawe. But somewhere. Ado bokari kum bokari karai. We ourselves are figuring. I koi isa mukse yawhalle. You understand that? Prabhu ki mingda tawe. Prabhu da tawe. Somewhere in all that is happening in the name of the Lord, we ourselves are figuring. I mean, figure. I koi isa mukse oibe se yawhalle. Mapa madu dayda. I ko isa mukhi hoye. Jee maong nae halle. Mapa madu dayda. Koi ki sakta madu. Mapa madu dayda. We ourselves are seen their dominant. I ko isa mukh na. I ko do madu do paale galay bado. I ko o halle. Somehow, you know, the self is is rising up. It's seen. It's it wants to be there. Hai bade isa ki hoye bese. Mapa madu dayda. Thora halle. Adu ko mapa isa ki hoye bese. Yao bado paame. The self figuring itself in the midst of it all, somehow, somewhere. Hi, buddy. Hari ba kuding ma. Hari ba singa siki marak ta karam kar karai mafam karai da aikho ki hoy ba singa si mawong na helly. And the word of God says. Adu ba ishor ki wahin hai. For the the word of God is living. Ishor ki wahin ma di. And powerful. And sharp. Maram di ishor ki wahin di aikho ki wahin di pangal kalle adu ka jamna maya ani pan ba kabat. You know you need. To get a very sharp and fine instrument that can divide between this. Yam na thau ba adu gumbo khulai adu darkar hoy bani aikho ki pulsi da masi singa se khai do pangam thau ay khulai adu darkar hoy. And there is no instrument that can can so you know so define and so fine to get between these and divide. Only the word of God. Isor ki wahi na tan ato pa. खुलाए अमत तले तबनी हरी वा अन्य ऐसे खाई दो पंगम बा खुलाए अमत तले तबनी हिंग बग थवाई का की होई बा यान सनरग ले री बसे तो खाए अमत तले तबनी खुलाए ऐसे उपाले तबनी शोगी वही न तना which are so mixed up हाय बड़ी यान याम थी न यान सनरग ले बा मखाई सिंगल से खाई दो पंगम बा अधु गुम्बा खुलाए ऐसे शोगी वही न तना तो पखुल 
ईसाइल Fail to enter in was because of unbelief and not allowing the word to come and separate that soul. Isorgi wahai na makogi punsi da changshe lagto na makogi hingli bami ado khaydo khan kitha bagi maram na hai budi isor na makogi da punsi da thabak to khan kitha bami maram na isorgi wahai na thabak to khan kitha bami maram na makogi na chang mangam kitha bani. Is it not true that? We have seen faith wavering many a time. Ayam matam da thaza ba se ninghan na ragalai ba se. We see our faith weakening in our lives. We see many a time our faith going down and goes under. And You know why it wavers in your time. Karigida makta ningha nari bano ayam matam da mashe. When God shuts us out of our mixed way of doing things unto God. Ai koi na isor da tau bata boxing asida yan sanar ga lay boxing ashe. When He begins to deal with that self that is figuring out in the things of God. ईश्वरपनी You know, we our faith weakens. Adu dayi dayi ko ki thaza bodo thaza bahore. Adu ki ninghan na bahore. We begin to question. Adu ki waham tau bahore. Lord, Prabhu, I'm doing your things. Aina tau di basen angi thabak ni. Aina. Please, children are not to go there. Angang sing langan ganu ko chacha langan ganu. I'm sorry for that interruption there. You know, so we need to know this in our hearts that we become, we waver in our faith when God begins to shut us and our self from the things which are related to God and the things, the purpose of God. ंग इन दिस्ट ऑफ वॉट गॉड इज डूंग इन अवर लाइफ कहीं तौरीबरे You know that's where we come into disappointments. There is something of the self at the back of all that we are doing for the Lord. Prabhu ki da magni hai na tauri ba khudi mag singa tu ki matung da sadong ki hoy singa do yao ba ki maram na. A faith is favoring now. Because God is trying to shut this self. 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 Because God is trying to
ตอนนี้เลยบ่คุติมักสิงอะตุเตกิโซวอทอิสเดเกทเฟธเอสอะตอนนี้บ่คุติมักสิงอะตุเตกิโซวอทอิสเดเกทเฟธเอสอะตอ
Masidi prabhuna pamli basida ai koina thaitok tawa oiraba oibado aduni prabhu ki wakala It is this completely unbiased concern for what the lord wants that is the key to faith maram di yes masi gi thaidok ta ba molom leita ba yes adu gumba chum da ba da gi adi masi thaidok pa gi oi ba do leita ba ase prabhu na pam ni masi ni achum da is key to faith i would say that again maduni it is this completely unbiased concern for what the lord wants that is the key to faith hallelujah unbiased prabhu ki prabhu ki apam badu dagi ai koina thaidok ta ba do maduni ta seng na prabhu na wakal tawri ba ase ai koi punsi da mapung pha na prabhu ki apam ba adu dagi ai koi se thaidok ta leita ba if israel in the wilderness had taken this attitude israel na machi ki wakalo na se makoi na lawram na di completely unbiased concern for what the lord wants for them they would have never perished in the wilderness abdi makoi ki da makta prabhu na pambiri ba adu da gi makoi na mapong phana thaidok lamdra badi makoi if israel had taken this attitude machi ki wakalo na se makoi na puram labadi lawram labadi it would have never happened as it happened with them makoi da thoki bagum na thok thok lam loi da bani this is very it's a very difficult experience yam na lu ba adu gum ba experience amani but remember ning sing biu this is what god is after masi gi matung e libani prabhu masi gi masi bu yeng libani prabhu na the lord is after something prabhu na kari gum ba kari yeng libani The Lord is after something. Prabhu di kari gumba khara bo yeng do na thiri do na leiri bani. Yes. The Lord wants something. Prabhu na kari gumba khara pambiri bani. He knows the best way to get it. Masi bo phangjana na ba khwai da gi phara ba lambi ya do maha na khangbi. Amen. Amen. If the Lord is after something. Prabhu na kari gumba khara yeng do na thiri do na leiri bani. He wants something. Mahana kari gumba khara pamla. He evidently knows that Mahana may ekse that is the way to get it. He knows the way how to get it. Mas masi mas madu bu phangjana bai lambi di maduni hai ba se mahana may ekse na khang bani. And what should be our attitude? Mara maduna aduna ai ki wa. You want something. Prabhu nang na kari gumba khara pamla. You are after something. Nang di kari gumba khara. And Lord you know how to get it and that's the best way. नाग न करम न फंगनी है बदो पाले की फबलंबी नी प्रभु आमीन आई ना कोई न दुना लॉर्ड आई एम विद यू प्रभु आई नंगल दिस इज द एटीट्यूड इजराइल वुड हैव टेकन इन देयर लाइफ्स मसी के वाकलो न सिनी इजराइल न लोग जरा दिस इज द एटीट्यूड केलेब एंड जोशुआ हैड मसी के वाकलो न सिनी जोशुआ केलेब तले के बदो आमीन आमीन लॉर्ड इफ दिस इज व्हाट यू आर कॉलिंग इज Prabhu masina nangi makoi This is your purpose in my life Nang masina nangi panda mai gi punchi ta thambi You know the way to get me there Ai nang na khangbani mafa madu da ai bu karam na pusai gani hai bodo There are so many issues in my life Ai gi punchi It may be my job it may be my future it may be my settlement whatever order whatever it is Ai gi lamgi matai ro khodi mak singa se prabhu You are after something. It's because of that you saved me from millions of people. Me million ke. Brought me into a body. Place me in this in this body. That I may come to those things. You know how to bring me there, Lord. And Lord, I am with you. I may lose everything. I may suffer loss of all things. I know khudi mak singa se mangja bhaiye khudi mak aiyon da gima thabatu. But it is the Lord that matters to me. Prabhu nang ni aiyon da darkar thali bese. It is you and your call and your purpose and your full salvation that matters to me. Athan ba ran kubam aduni aiyon da darkar thali bese Prabhu khudi mak mangla bese. 
Was that not the confession of the Apostle Paul? In Philippians chapter 3, I'm not turning to that because we know that scripture. He says, forgetting those things which are behind. I press toward the mark that is set before me. I count all things to be done. Yes. I am pressing on. I count nothing valuable in my life. But you, amen. That is seeking first the king. Madhubuni, Ahan Badaning Tole Baki Tiva, Ahan Badaning Tole Baki Tiva, Madimaki Tole Baki Tiva, Hibuduni. His purpose. This is what God wants of every child of God. This is what He is, desire of Israel of all. But only two of them desire to be in that place Caleb and Joshua. That's not given to us as a philosophy. But that is recorded in the word of God to bring faith into our hearts. Yes. You know, so we see here the attitude that ought to be in us. Lord, I am with you. I may lose everything. I may suffer loss of many things. But Lord, if it's going to bring me there, is there anything that we really lose? I will mapa madu the push and be over the Igikari Manga. But you see the soul? Otherwise, when we're in Livani, I say, Yam the Mapu in the soul doesn't want to lose. I coin a Madugi, but the soul wants to have this and have that also. I will live a me city, Masisu Pam, but in Madusu Pam, and Magging are doing it. Preachers are making it possible. Preachers has come up to say, Well, that's possible. You can have the soul, you can have also the spiritual parts. But God's word is not possible. Many preachers won't preach what we are hearing today. That does not mean I am the only one. God has his faithfulness. Listen to God's word. In the midst of such compromising you know, teaching that's going on in the midst of God's people. I want to tell you, pure God's word will do a work in you and in me and we qualify us to enter into the land of our inheritance. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. The Lord wants you and me in that land. Yes. It means everything to be there for the Lord's pleasure. Everything there in that land is for His own pleasure. Yes. Everything there in that land is what matters to Him and not to us. Yes. If that was Israel's attitude, they would have never perished. They would have never journeyed 40 years in that wilderness. Round and round. They came to the very borders. Amen. They came to the very borders. But they were turned away. And the Lord closed the door. Turned them back. Perish in the wilderness. Dear brothers and sisters, what mentality and attitude God is looking into our lives? Looking for in our lives. That attitude. If you are called me, if you have chosen me to be part of this great purpose of yours, you have saved me and called me for that. Lord, therefore, I want to keep that first. Everything else in my life secondary. Yes, Lord, and that's what it means. He first. And all my interests are to come down. It's, it, they will have to be subservient to the spiritual man. 
concern for that purpose and call of god in our lives ishwar ki pandamadi amadi maha ki makau aduda aikona thaidok pa leitana ishwar na yes aikona and i want to tell you brothers and sisters that will bring us into our inheritance aina haizening is in our sink and we therefore when we have that upon our heart we will see the word being alive in us living in us i koi gi punsida i koi gi nung you know the word will come in today you are hearing his voice harden na magi konjel tarabadi na gi natham oi do kansilan ganu hai na hai yes allow that word madu gi wai ya biu sangshalan biu is sharp masidi yam thaubani it is able to get into Masih di junction mengambani minyak. You know, it's able to get into the very depth. Ya, amna lutha na junction mengambani. Madu gi hingli bami amadi thawai gi oibudo. Adu gi oibudo da makal lutha na junction mengambani. Masih na tongan kopi gani. Mayek la na thai kopi gani. Samam nawa leiroi nangi punsi da. Remember, the soul so much dominates even in the things of God. It figures there. It comes up there, and that's where many a time we have disappointments. Isorgi thabok singa tauri isorna tauri ba thabok singa si da mahaki o budo ya amna maong lakning ba maong nining bani mara maduna ay koy maduna ni ay koy puning han. Now quickly we need to go. I know I know that I have already passed my time, but let me just quickly go and finish this thought today. You know, you can see the consummation in the second generation or the next generation of God's purpose. Yes. You know, they went in to the land of promise only on the ground of faith. Amen. Amen. Only on the ground of faith. I will tell you about you. I'm not turning to many scriptures, but you can see it for yourself later on. We read about the faith of Rahab. Rahab, you know the harlot, and her faith was the key to the land of Jericho. Madhu ki na Jericho ki lam adu da sojay hoy ki bani. Yes, there was the faith when they had to go around the city of Jericho. हाय बुद्धि मां कोई कर्म बताज बना बुद्धि जरूर कोगी सहार की आ कोई बुद्धि चट पगी अधूम बा दे वेंड अराउंड सिक्स डेज मां कोई ना इन साइलेंस तरुक नी तुम्हीं नचुप लुप ना तुम्हीं तरुक नी चक्की बनी मधु नी था जब तो वेंड अराउंड द सिटी ऑफ जरिको जरिको की सहार की सिक्स डेज इन साइलेंस तरुक नी से तुम्हीं On on the seventh day, they shouted in faith. And without drawing a sword or turning a hand to do anything, they without drawing a sword or turning a hand to do anything, they were victorious over the city of Jericho. Jericho ki saara do bo ma koi na mai paaki bani, nam ki bani. And it is ridiculous in the eyes of men, no doubt. Adu ka miyoi bagi mitta diya nokning bathava ka mani, soi thana mag. But The battle was won. It was all a matter of faith. Aduna masidi. Whereas the generation before them. Adu bo makoi mangle ibo generation makoi mangle ibo generation adu nadi miro adu nadi thaza tabe ki varam nangam kida bani. The new generation, the young generation. They went up and possessed the land on the basis of faith alone. But the older generation, they did not enter in because of unbelief. Because this generation went up because of Caleb and Joshua. You know what is said. In numbers fourteen and eight. Number ki tarah mari ki nipanda sumai na hai. If the Lord delight, 
If the Lord delight in us, He will bring us into the land. Amen. If the Lord delight in us, this they spoke in the midst of opposition. When the whole camp wanted to stone and kill them, they said, if the Lord delight, He will bring us into the land. That is the matter. It is the delight of the Lord. Perfectly, you know, focusing ourselves on the Lord. Completely unbiased concern for this call upon our lives. Perfectly unbiased concern for the, the purpose of God. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I'm going to close today. That is what God wants from our lives. And that is one of the most important it, that's the most difficult thing in our lives as well. Amen. God wants us to have that perfectly unbiased concern for the purpose of God in our lives. For the Lord and His purpose. Unbiased. And that is one of the most difficult things in our life. But I want to tell you that is where we need Faith. Amen. Amen. That's where we need to trust God. If God has called us to possess a land, He knows how to take us there. And if He's dealing with me, cutting off my soul, my self interest, my uncommitted ambitions, even the things I do for God somewhere, the soul is still emerging and figuring out and God is shutting it out I get disappointed with God and God's people yes. but God knows the way to get me there Amen. Amen. Amen May God help us this word is a very hard word Actually the word is not hard it's because of the hardness of our hearts. <laughs> Somebody said, hard word, yes brother, I agree. But then when the second explanation came, don't know what to do. You know, they said it's a hard word. Who said this? It's a hard word, please go. They said hard word. <laughs> Listen, God's word is never hard. His word is living. It can give life. It can do it a tremendous tremendous work of bringing life out of death. That's a principle of his work. That's a principle of his work. That's why Peter said, you have what? You have what? The words that you speak are what? It's living. So that there will be no hardness in anybody. Not me. God knows. God knows about me. And he sends a word to me and to you. And so I would like to say here in closing, it's a matter that God take delight in us. And to be perfectly unbiased to have a perfectly unbiased concern towards what the Lord wants in my life, in, in our life. 
प्रभु delight in us Oh
Caleb and Joshua. That was their song. That was their song. The Lord delight. It God's delight to bring us. He knows the way. To bring us there. And he has spoken that word. That word right through the wilderness. To set aside that soul man. Hallelujah. To set aside that soul man. The soul that want to figure in the things of God. When all the favors are there. Hallelujah. Yes. Then we are so keen. We have seen ourselves in the mirror of God's word today. Hallelujah. Blessed are those. Blessed are those. Who can see themselves in the mirror of his word today. Harden not our hearts. As in the days of provocation. But let's open up for the word of God. For the word of God. Is living. Let it be living. Thank you Jesus. Shall we all pray together? Thank you Jesus. Let's all pray together. Let's be honest with God. And take time later on with God. In specific areas the Lord would say. And speak to you. And convicted you already. He is at work within your heart today. He is within. He is within you. Working within you. By his word and spirit. Shall we all pray together? Oh Ramakayash. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Oh, Ramakaya Shakat, Ramakasi. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Oh, we have the table of the Lord soon after this. What a wonderful opportunity to repent. What an opportunity to submit. What an opportunity to be cleansed of everything the spirit has shown to us he is not condemning us but is convicting us it's not a convincing of your mind but it's a convicting of your spirit with it of the soul showing us separating defining a clear defining it's so fine. The word of God is so fine to go to the deepest. The most complicated. And show. No confusion in our lives. If you would let this word come in. Thank you Jesus. Heavenly Father. We turn to you. In the light of your word. In repentance. We turn to you Lord. Seeking you. That you will, in your great mercies, forgive us, cleanse us. Oh, we know that this soul has been so predominant in us. So conscious of ourselves, our interests, our needs, others, the things of the world. Lord, and we have... Not allow this God conscious life in us to be predominant. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Clearly showing us, yes, Lord, the key to faith is to have a perfectly unbiased heart, a perfectly unbiased concern. For the purpose of God. In my life. Lord I realize that's the key. To faith. Thank you Jesus. Lord. I thank you for this word myself. I thank you Lord for this word that you send unto us. As a body of believers of God. Oh that our wanderings may come to an end Lord. Lord Jesus. Oh, we repent. 
Lord, even where we did things in your name and unto you and to your people and in, in doing things unto you and in your name, Lord. Somewhere the self was lurking and emerging. Oh, Lord, we realize we come, we confess it to you, Lord, forgive us and cleanse us. Somewhere, oh God. And that brought disappointments many a time in our lives. Lord, we seek your cleansing many a time. When things were favorable, we were so enthusiastic. We love the church. We love God's people. We love the word. We want to be in meetings. But Lord, when it is not favorable, when things are not very good, when we are challenged about our faith, our life, when we are challenged about our ways, our self, oh God, we were upset with you. Lord, forgive us. Cleanse us of our immature talks. Immature comments. Sinful attitudes. Oh God, cleanse us. Your word has the power. Your word can cleanse us. Your blood can cleanse us. And change us, oh God, even today. Bring us to that land. Lord, you know the way. And you know how to get rid of this self that stands in the way. Yes, O God. If you are after it, you know how to bring us there. Amen. And let that be our concern. And that's the key to faith, O God. And every battle will be victorious. So Lord, we commit ourselves as a body of believers, as your people, Lord, into thy hands. Yes, help us to walk in the, in, in the good of this word, O God. In the coming days. The good of this word. Yes, sir God. For the word of God is living. Help us to experience. For the word of God is living. Help us to experience the living word in our lives, Lord. Bless this table as we partake of this after many months of God. Lord, let it not be a tradition, a religious activity. But Lord, that this table will be a living table. As your servant has said in thy word of God. Let it be life-giving table of communion with you and with one another. Bless this table to this end. Thank you, Father, for granting us this time. Give you the glory and praise again. In Jesus' most precious and matchless name we pray.